Hello, my name is Anne Gould and I'm from Working Words Media and I'm a journalist, I am a video trainer and I do video production as well. So um, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm very aware that there is a sort of new phobia, a new fear that's sweeping the internet right now and this is fear of being in front of a video camera. Now it can strike anyone, it can strike actors, you know, Shakespearean actors that are, you know, really happy to go on sort of professional stage and talk in front of sort of thousands of people and, you know, do their lines and then they find themselves on camera and, you know, are having a bit of a, a, you know, they really don't like the way they look. It can strike professionals, you know, academics who are, you know, sort of, you know, at the very top of their game, very able to give lectures to sort of lecture hall full of students or um, you know of their contemporaries and then they you know this little device which is called a smartphone um, trips them up and makes them terrified it can strike people like me I mean I'm I'm my background is print journalism I've always been sort of one of those sort of back backroom boys that you know sort of gets on and sort of head down ferrets away types away like crazy and um, you know doesn't doesn't really show their face to, to the world but um, now video technology means that we've got to get in front of the camera and we've got to be able to talk now lots of people say um, oh there are all these tips and tricks and you know and, and we can get it right for you you know there you know we can sort of sort the lighting out we can sort out the audio you know we'll you know you know get your hair done your makeup you know you know exactly you know what your script is and yeah, all those things sort of help, but you know, actually, um, you know, if you've got the stuff that's going on in your head um, that's saying, um, "Hang on a minute, I, I really don't look like that," and um, and uh, you know, actually, do I look that bad? Um, you know, the, all those things don't help. So, um, and I was actually in that situation myself, and I, you know, I really didn't know what what was going on and because I um, like to dig away at things and find out the reasons why I came across some really good science um, which uh, and once I understood that I was able to sort of get over this hurdle and realize it, it was sort of like it was that sort of um, what they call I think some people call the reptile brain pain tricks on ourselves. Now we all um, know very well what we look like don't we? You know, we look in the mirror every single morning and, you know, uh, probably, you know, and if you're a woman, you've probably looked in the mirror more than once during the day, you know, to, you know, to check your hair, to check your makeup, you know, to check that, you know, you know, how your clothes are looking and, um, and, you know, and as you get older, you know, you, you, you sort of like look in the mirror with maybe a li little bit of fear because you think, oh my goodness me, you know, the hair's not doing the right thing today. It's suddenly become frizzy or there are some grey hairs that I don't like or, you know, there's some lines or wrinkles and, uh, or, you know, maybe you're just not as slim as you once were. You know, yeah, I, I, I'm in that club. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm there. But I know what I look like. And then I started doing this research and discovered that actually um, my brain has been tricking me all my life as to what I look like. And this explains why I don't like pictures of myself and, um, you know, and why I don't like all sorts of things about, you know, sort of being on video. Because what happens is, is when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see a reflection and you think that, that you look like that reflection. But in fact, you don't because it's all the other way around. Now, um, the way that this ties in with um, our reptile brain is that uh, many, well, sort of, sort of ancient man, you know, were, were sort of living in sort of, I don't know, on savannas or plains or, you know, they, or they had caves and, you know, there were lots of wild animals about and, you know, and life was generally dangerous. And um, our brains evolved to, to be able to spot something that wasn't quite right in those bushes. So, you know, there's a bit of funny rustling in that bushes and it might just be very slight, the, the, the anomaly, but, you know, it was, it, we'd notice it. And the reason was, was that, you know, behind those bushes might lurk a sort of nasty predator, you know, a saber-toothed tiger that was gonna sort of leap out and eat us up. And so our brains evolved um, to spot that 
problem and so that it gave us a bit of time to turn around and leg it fast back into into our cable or place of safety now it's that mechanism that um that is triggered when we see ourselves on camera and we think well, actually we don't look like that uh, we actually look like the um the person that we see in the mirror every day but in fact you know we are actually sort of our brains are under an illusion that that in fact you know we don't we actually what we think we look like we don't actually look like so um so there, there's that little mechanism going on there's another thing about the way we sound now when i learned to do video i did a um, a course with the world's leading video journalist this was about five years ago and you know i have to say it was the best thing i ever did in the whole of my life and um you know and it was four days it was really intense it was at the guardian newspaper in london and uh, we sort of got there and they taught a few things about shooting video and then threw us out on the street and said go and shoot video now um, as a journalist it, you know what well, I was actually able to go and find stories with not too much difficulty um, but you know and you know I was able to come back and you know we looked at the footage and you know and we got some you know sort of you know, very useful critique I would say and then we had to edit it and we had lots of help you know doing all the sort of technical stuff and um, and then they said you just put a voiceover on this and, and I went ooh I don't like the way I sound so I um I said obviously I did the voiceover because I'd paid lots of money for the course but what happened was that I discovered that the um that we don't hear our own voices the way that everybody else hears them what we hear is the sound in our head and we hear the sort of voice waves that come out from here and into our ears so everybody else hears us in a slightly different way and of course on on when you're recorded that's what you hear so when you come back to do the edit and you're thinking no no i don't sound like that well uh, actually you do so um how do you get over this well uh, for me, I think learning about science, and there is more science, but um, I'm aware that, you know, I've sort of been talking quite a while now, that, that this all learning about all this science has, has really helped me um, get in front of the camera and not feel so terrified. The other thing I say to people, um, my students, um, is that actually people aren't there to listen to you know to, to look at you and sort of say oh my goodness me um uh, she, you know she's she's got a you know her hair's a bit gray or whatever they're there to listen to your expertise and to learn from you um so uh, you know i think you sort of like need to try and detach yourself a little bit from you know what's on the video and um and and your message because it's your message that's the most important thing um and you And you know, I've just spoken for eight minutes and non-stop and my brain went blank. And this is another problem that happens. But actually, you know, if that little problem occurs, you can fix it in the edit. Um, and that's why I think that when you're making video, you actually need to, to, to actually absorb a whole load of extra skills because you know that if you sort of make a hiccup, you can change it and you can change it easily. And, um, you know, and, you know, hey, you can always record something again. But my top tip is, is that you need to start making video and you need to start making those videos. And the more you edit videos of yourself and the more times that you hear yourself on the screen. And in fact, the more times you start to talk, the better it will be in the long run. So good luck. And if you've got any questions, I am very, very happy to answer them.